Hello everyone and welcome to SaaS Guru's YouTube channel, your go-to source for all things Salesforce. In the fast-evolving world of Salesforce development, the harmonious interplay between front-end and back-end is pivotal. The synergy between Lightning Web Components, commonly referred to as LWC, and Apex is what drives innovation and efficiency. In this video, we'll understand the fundamentals of Lightning Web Components LWC and the Apex programming language. Learn the two primary ways to call Apex methods from LWC using wire services and calling methods imperatively. So let's get started. Lightning Web Components, or LWC, are Salesforce's answer to the modern web development era. It empowers developers with a powerful toolset to craft efficient dynamic and reusable web components on the Salesforce platform. On the back end, we have Apex, Salesforce's proprietary programming language designed for building business logic on the Salesforce platform. It's an object-oriented language with syntax that closely resembles Java, enabling developers to execute flow and transaction control statements on the Salesforce servers in conjunction with calls to the Salesforce API. Let's understand how Apex works with LWC. Backend support. While LWC handles the front-end user interface, Apex provides the back-end support, allowing components to interact with Salesforce data and perform complex operations, invoking Apex methods. From a Lightning Web component, developers can either wire an Apex method to a property or function or call it imperatively based on user interactions. This bridges the gap between front-end interactions and server-side logic. Reactivity and data binding when an LWC component requires data, it can leverage Apex to fetch this data. With reactive properties in LWC, any change in the data layer can be automatically reflected in the UI. Data security. By using Apex with LWC, developers inherently benefit from Salesforce's robust data access and security model. Only the data a user has permission for is accessible, ensuring data integrity and security. Error handling. In conjunction with LWC, Apex provides detailed error messages that can be caught and handled gracefully in the UI, enhancing user experience. Now that we've laid the groundwork, let's explore the two primary ways to call Apex methods from Lightning Web Components, using wire services and calling methods imperatively. The wire service in LWC provides a streamlined way to retrieve data or perform an action without requiring Apex code. Using it, you can wire a property or function to a service, ensuring it automatically receives new data when the source updates. The key advantage of wire services lies in their efficiency and simplicity. They streamline data retrieval processes, minimize server round trips, and enhance performance, ensuring a smooth user experience. However, wire services have limitations when it comes to complex data manipulation or invoking Apex methods with dynamic parameters. In such cases, a more imperative approach becomes necessary. Calling an Apex method imperatively means invoking the method directly, often in response to a particular action or event like a button click. This approach provides greater flexibility and control over server interactions when the method gets called. The primary advantage of imperative calls lies in their flexibility and versatility. They enable developers to execute complex server-side logic, handle errors gracefully, and implement custom business logic seamlessly. With that said, imperative method calls may lead to increased complexity and potential performance overhead, especially in scenarios with frequent server interactions. Developers need to implement proper error handling mechanisms to ensure application robustness. While the wire service in LWC provides an automatic, reactive link to your Apex data, imperative calls offer a more hands-on, controlled interaction, so understanding these integration techniques is essential for crafting efficient Salesforce solutions. Now we will understand how to call the Apex using the wire method and also the imperative way. Here you can see an Apex class where we have defined two methods fetch accounts and fetch account imperative, just for the purpose of demo. Fetch account is basically the method which will be called from the wire method. 
and the fetch account imperative is the method which will be called on a click of a button. Now, you can see it's a simple Apex class. Returning the list of accounts, the imperative method accepts the number of records and then in the query, those number of records are returned to the lightning component. Let's look at the first lightning component, which is the called apex.html. Here we have a loop, which is looping on the account list, and then we are displaying the list of account records. In the JS file, you can see we have imported the fetch accounts method from the call apex controller, which we just saw a few minutes ago. Here we have defined the wire method, and we have referenced the fetch account. And this is the variable in which the response will be stored. Now if we look at the call apex imperative HTML, it is a similar lightning component. The difference is that in this, we have a lightning input, which is accepting the record limit from the user, and we have a button called as get accounts, which is basically calling the apex method. In an imperative way, we are looping on the account list, and similarly displaying the list of account records. In the JS file, you can see we have imported the fetch accounts imperative from the call apex controller, and the method name says fetch account underscore imperative. Here we have the limited change handler as soon as the user enters the record that gets saved as the record limit variable. This is the fetch account method, which is getting called on the click of a method. Here we are passing the number of records parameter to the apex class, and then the response is getting stored to the account list which is binded to the lightning web component. Now let's go to Salesforce. In the org, we have created two lightning components which we just saw the call apex and the call apex imperative. The left-hand side is the call apex component, which is using the wire method to fetch the accounts, and the call apex imperative is the right-hand side component. You can see as soon as the page is loaded, the wire method is used to fetch the account records and display them, utilizing the wire method. For the imperative way of pulling the data, the user will enter the number of records they want to see and click on the button. This will call the fetch accounts method in an imperative way to call the apex class method and return the records. Like this, if we change the number of record limit to three and click on the button, it shows three records. This is how you can implement calling apex using the wire method and an imperative way of calling the apex class from the lightning web component. Thank you. Ready to elevate your Salesforce skills? Whether you're aspiring to be a Salesforce admin or aiming to advance as a Salesforce developer, we've got resources tailored just for you. Check out our Salesforce developer online training program with Capstone Projects. Sign up with SaaS Guru today and unlock a world of opportunities.